So this is a very good question. Um, I think diversity itself is a really complex topic. And for me in my role here at Halo, the most important aspect is to really help creating a safe and inclusive workplace for everyone. So to make sure that everyone can bring their true selves to work and uh, to create a safe environment for everyone, no matter where they work. And I also think what a lot of companies underestimate is that um, it also requires having clear values and really know what to expect and also communicate what to expect to employees and to take these values very seriously. That's funny that you asked because actually I get this question a lot the last couple of days and weeks and I think the answer is pretty simple. Because I think the most important part at Pride Month is to kind of reflect a company internally and see what we can change internally to build a more um, inclusive workplace for everyone. So what we did, for example, but we didn't post about it on LinkedIn is that we changed our toilet signs here at Halo internally. So we now have like um, a toilet for everyone um, and not only for men and women. We also have some educational content on our own Halo home platform and uh, we have created a guideline also for gender neutral language and I think that's kind of the things where you have to start before you go out externally with content regarding the Pride Month. That's a good question. So, as you can imagine, we have a lot on our to-do list regarding diversity and inclusion because I just started this role in April. So, if I point out the most important next step, I would say that one of them definitely is to build a company-wide diversity ambassador network because currently we have five locations uh, where we have offices from Halo and sometimes it's a bit difficult to get like them all together when it comes to diversity and inclusion um, yeah, activities and stuff like that. Um, the next one would be that we will invite definitely some keynote speakers and also have um, exclusive interviews with, with um, people, for example, from the LGBTQIA plus community. Um, we will, of course, have trainings internally to work on our unconscious bias. Um, and I think one really big step that uh, we just recently took is that we signed the Charter of Diversity. So we also committed ourselves to really work um, continuously on the topic of diversity and inclusion in our company. So if there would be one thing that I could share with everyone watching this video, it would definitely be that I think that building an inclusive and diverse workplace starts with every single one of us because I think it's really important that we reflect and question our behavior even if it could be hurtful sometimes because for example we were raised in a different way or we had to really question our beliefs sometimes and things that seem to be normal to us and I think that's the most important part that we understand that it's not about us as individuals but about everyone.